Yeah. I, I, I turn off the aircon for the for the sound quality, but like it's too fucking hot. <laughs> it's too hot. It's too fucking hot. For anyone like watching, or if it, I don't even know, it's gonna be the final cut. But man, it is forty degrees outside, and it's six thirty in the evening. Man, c- consider yourselves lucky. Freezing places of the world. It's fucking hot right now. <laughs> Global warming is real. It's in Australia. degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, Jesus. I know, that's why I was really glad to be in a game store. I was like, <laughs> free aircon all day. Let's do this. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Uh, what have you been playing with? Architens. Architens? Just Architens and Beta? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> okay, I can say, initially when the Architens was out, I was very skeptical about it. I was like, what's a, what's a ship with the you know, same pricing as a, as a Gladiator, as Red Dice? Mm. You know, what what difference is it gonna really make? Uh, everyone's saying, oh, we can do MSU this now, um, but it didn't turn out to be that at all. It just turned out to be like, it's just a really good Vader ship. Yeah, it's just such good with Vader. Yeah, it's so good. With it, Vader. It's 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 a guppy for Imperials that's on a smaller base. Yeah, and throws out more, more consistent damage than it. Than a guppy. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. No, and like I remember, I was having a talk with Q. So Q's like the originator of the. The Gen Con special and Lawrence, who's the UK national champion, and we were talking about it. And I had the same reservations. They're like, it's like, it's not that great, and it's slow. Like it's not slow, but it's like it's got that shitty, weird maneuver thing where it's only got two clicks on the end, which is bad. I've got myself in so much trouble because I fly them like CR90s, and then I go, oh wait, it's not a CR90. I can't do what I normally do, <laughs> no. and I end up like way wide or stuff like that. I yeah. had a problem flying them real. No, oh, well, you're just fantastic, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you show, show the damage output you can do with Vader. Like, so uh, you have enhanced yeah. elements. Yeah, if you it. roll well, though, yeah. only if you roll well. So, yeah. enhanced elements, what else? Uh, and concentrate fire. Concentrate, concentrate fire. fire. So, you got one. You got one so far. Ooh, it's a great. Yeah, it's, it's great. great. This, this is your dice, that's why. Ah, oh, look go. at that. Oh, so, yeah. he's gone from one damage yeah. to like freaking six. Or six, yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. like, yeah, you want to brace that? Yeah, yeah, definitely do. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> And that's crazy, yeah. Like, I mean, I end up with four dice normally because I don't. I prefer them. I, I mean, this is more a playstyle thing. I think Nick's way better at judging. Like, I need to concentrate fire now, or I need to navigate now, and I'm really bad at that. So I always end up with like same with McThirties. I always end up with a stack of navigates, <laughs> right? So I'm always with four dice. But even with four dice, you're like, okay, I've got three damage so far, and you just go, I don't care about an accuracy, whatever, who cares? <laughs> like, unless I've got one of eight, then it, like it's like a guppy, then I would keep it, and then you're just like, all right, take five. Enjoy. Like, you want to embrace the three? Like, that's the number. Three and five is, a, like, every time you can roll over into a, new, into a new brace point is when it's filth. Because it's just like, oh, man, you're still going to take three after this. Like, uh, and the other thing, do they always stay in arc? Yeah. No matter where they go. That's, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the other problem I find facing in arc tens. Yeah. It's really annoying. No, they're good. No, I think, like, in my game against Nick, so I was running my... Assault MC80, the immortal variant. So I've got Ramus on it. I'm got, yeah. I've got, Ra- I've got Ramus on it. I have uh, advanced projectors. I've got ECMs. Yeah. So and also I had a Pelter running with the shields oh, to maximum. Yeah. Right. And he had three architects just rolling. Yep. Six damage. Six damage. And it's, I lost all my shield, and then I just lost all the hull. Yeah. And it's just like, well, there goes that ship really easily after turn two. Yeah. No. Like I had, I've had a couple of games. Uh, so I think I'm about. Seven games deep in a wave five. We've had it. We've, we've had a pretty good go already. And like, I had a, I had a situation where it was like, um, I think I was playing Demo, and Demo was running a Pelter, and this is like hard. This is also incidentally a good way to segue into my problems with the Pelter, <laughs> right? And he and he comes in and he's like, yeah, I've got the two red, two black, and I'm like, yeah, you got no way to reroll them. And uh, okay, you did three damage. Cool, I redirect, <laughs> right? And then I'm like, oh, I have two Architons with both. Both of them have side arc on you. Uh, you're dead. <laughs> it took like two rounds and it was like four red dice, four red dice, four red dice, four red dice, and you're dead. Yeah. Done. Like, it was crazy how fast they evaporated it. Um, Vader, man. Vader did not have a home before this ship. Because, like, you just, the problem we always found, we try to make lists with them, and it's like, you know, you used to end up with like three or four ships, like four if you were pushing it, and then you'd just be like, in the points that I could save with taking Moddy. Yeah. I could just buy leading shots and ordnance experts, and I'd be in a better place yeah. because I'd have the exact same power, yeah. except I'd have more hull. Yeah, you mod- the modi test. Yeah, yeah. You, you take 
You take Mod money and all those upgrades, and it works out the same cost as Vader. Yeah. And you have more. more yeah. Benefit. But there's nothing, there's nothing, like, except for, like, veteran gunners, but, I mean, I'm a bit iffy on veteran gunners. And it's like, but it, for this thing, there's nothing that can reroll all its dice. So you can, yeah, you can add, like, meter and TRCs and then turn it into, like, a, effectively a more expensive TRC90. But, I mean, I see people doing that, and I think it's good, and I'm actually testing a list where I'm going to do that. <laughs> but I think the Vader Architons is way better, because yeah. you can just sit there and be like, four red dice coming out. Like, you can literally just run this thing, 54 points plus 10 for EA, and that's all you need. Yeah. 64 points with Vader, and you're like, good to go. You mean the title screens out Vader. Yeah. Anyway, Hand of Justice. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just refresh one of your... Other right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's so good as well against... Um, Again, another reason why people should probably be more Intel, I think I'm going to have to do it to my list, is like, <laughs> man, when people were running, like, I had a couple of games against people where they had, like, two heavy hitters, but neither of them had Intel, and then, uh, so I was running a fleet with two Architons, um, you'll see it, like, we, we, did a, we just did a battle report with it, but two Architons, um, uh, an Admiral Lifeboat, which is kind of standard for me now, and then I had a de deck, like, not a decked out, but, like, a pretty upgraded ISD-1 with Tua, so now that it's an effective gunboat. And then, like, in those games, I think people before have kind of gotten used to a, doing a one-two punch, where it's like, first punch, all right, you're going to brace for sure. Second punch, it's like, are you going to brace? Yeah. Because it's like, do you want that gone for the rest of the game? So they're kind of, and, and even if that person does, you're like, cool, now your ISD has my brace, and I'm going to wreck you. Hmm. But then and now, in between, you can just be like, oh, yeah, I just got hit really hard. Oh, hand of justice, now I have brace again. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> like, yeah, it's, a bit, it's, it's even better than Targ. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man, hand of justice with Targ would be crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like that, and refresh. Yeah, like those turn, like, what is it, like turn four and turn six where you don't get tug? Like, that'd be all right. That'd be yeah. all right. Like, you know what's annoying that's floating around now because of uh, Minister Tour? Is the um, <laughs> putting, putting Tour on a freaking uh, Gazzotti, Flotilla, Flotilla yeah. and then giving it ECMs. It's the worst. It's the worst. And, and what do you do on it, though? You put your Admiral on it, right? Yeah, like put your Admiral on it. Yeah. The put biggest suppressor, teams. slice of tools. Yeah. Because you, 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 you roll your ISD2 front off, eight dice, Five accuracies, you know, ten damage, whatever it is, and nothing you can do about it. Yeah, or ECM and scatter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now when you see that, the only thing you can do is you can ram it. You can keep ramming it to death or bomb it. That's probably a better idea. Bombing it. Yeah. Sure. Or, uh, or what I try to do is uh, get get my suppressor in there, get him to move into it, and then suppress the su yeah, suppress yeah. the scatter. Then you hopefully eventually gets into range. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I haven't come up against it, but like. My main pro my, I have two problems with that. Is if if you're not running your Admiral lifeboat to do anything, you don't really need it anyway. Yeah. Because like every every game yeah. I've played with an Admiral lifeboat, I've either not lost them or if I did lose them, I'd lost my whole fleet and it didn't matter that I lost <laughs> my Admiral. <laughs> like it was like, yeah, that was the last thing to die and you know what? I got wrecked, so that makes sense that it died. <laughs> Cuz it's just like and especially with um Man, with this thing, this shuttle is like unreal. With with you know, for the Imperials now, like I like like again, like I did it in the battle report, and I've done it in like all of my Wave Five battles, pretty much. Is just like you have a shuttle, and you got relay two, and you just go, you know, your little Admiral lifeboat. It can be Moddy, it can be Ozil, it doesn't matter. It just, like it's more about the Gazanti and the relay kicking in. But it can be flying off in the side with no one around it, and just be sitting there going squadron command for two two squadrons every turn, yeah. and just babysitting those squadrons from fucking like distance fifteen. Mm -hmm. Like, well, the other thing too is that uh, it's not restricted by the shuttle being activated or not. No, yeah. So other ships can do their squadron commands off that one shuttle. Uh -huh. so, yeah, it's pretty. It's it's pretty crazy. Like it, it's it's. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say like it's removing the need for boosted comms. No, nah, there's still yeah. some times where you want it. Yeah. Yeah. But then, like, having the power to, like, just, just command squadrons from across the board, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Mm. Well, like, Nick, I think we know a fleet that would really love Relay. <laughs> Relay 2. A certain, a certain 8 Gazanti fleet <laughs> would probably really love. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just take, like, two Relays and where before... Like, I, I mean, I played that list at Worlds, and it was, it was filth, guys. <laughs> like, it was filth already. And now you could be like, hmm... Now I can actually just be on the other side of the board and not care. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. I don't get why the rebels only have relay one. See, because like because having relay two on the shuttle, yeah. right? If you have two shuttle, now you it have four there. squadrons you can possibly relay from. Yeah. Right? And if you do two VCX 100s, What's you're the only going to get two maximum. Yeah. Have you got your cards in here? What does the VCX look like? What's it? it VCX should be in there. Maybe it's not. Oh, man. All the people at home like, this is what it has, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not? Here we go. The VCX Predator. What's it got? It's got 
Movement three, uh, hole eight, two blue, and a three blue. Three blue. Three blue, and relay one, strategic. So really, what's it got? So it's got two extra hole, and it's got blue blue dice instead of black. Yeah, instead of two blacks. Yeah. So it can do accuracies. Yeah. So it's slightly better any squadron. Like, so it's expected damage is still one and a half, but it can have the potential for an accuracy, mm. which is slightly better. I think the shuttle wins. I think, it's I think the shuttle wins. It's just having Relay 2. Relay, yeah. Relay like, 2. Well, it's, it's pretty much the same. But relay 2, strategic, heavy. No, this one's Relay 1. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty saying like it's point cost. Oh, yeah. This is where the shuttle, this is where the V6 is on it loses. Two, two extra hole points over the shuttle, an extra dice on any squadron. Yeah. But then the average is the same. It's just this one has access to accuracies, which yeah. can be important. I would say, you know, it probably would have made this, I think, like equal, is that. If this was move, if this had more movement, if mm. this was like movement four instead of three, then I'd be like, ooh, because then that makes it strategic way better, because then it can jump yeah. in from way like way farther away. I don't get why having another blue dice, so three blue dice mm. and less relay, works out to still be the same points. Because it's got more hole. Oh, it's got more hole. It's got more hole. Yeah. Eight hole to six. But then that did. I mean, six holes That's still crazy. like a lot, right? Like yeah. before this wave, before this new wave, the highest you could get was six. And I remember, and like there's times where you're like, six holes is a lot. Yeah. So it's not like eight holes. Oh, seven, seven you can get on. Like, uh, oh, Bosk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bosk, thirteen hundred. But who's running those? <laughs> <laughs> like I've never seen them. Well, JJ was right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. YT thirteen hundreds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like uh, a couple of guys now running the 1300 bigs. Yeah. The big new I mean, 1300 is different. 1300 had a home. Like, I never saw them because they were Speed 2, but they did have a home. But oh, like, they have Speed 2, don't they? Yeah, that's why. That's why you didn't see it. Because everyone's like, man, I don't want to deal with Speed 2. <laughs> this is crap. <laughs> what do you think everyone was like? I mean, B Wings, they're so well costed, except for that speed is shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> now you can use all fighters following me to make them Speed 3. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a huge dip. And like, you can fight coordination teams. Um, there's so many ways to get around that speed problem now, which is great. Mm. Um, well, I've got a defender. Yeah, quick like Speed 5. Like Speed 5. The speed 5. Speed 5. Yeah. Six hole. Six hole, two black, two blue. Any squadron. Any squadron. And one bomber. one blue bomber. Yeah, so... And then it's got the yeah, bomber trait. And it's six hole. Six hole. Yeah. 16 points, same as the YT2400. I think it beats the YT2400 for me. I mean, it's not rogue. That's the trade-off. But right. then... You yeah. don't really need it. Here's the thing, though, right? Is that in this day and age of, like... You know, it, it's funny. Like I see all the time right now. It's like people talking about like Armada is dead. Squadrons have taken over everything. Mm. They have and they haven't. Squadrons are really strong. Mm. But I think Wave Five, having played with it, has really just sort of reinforced like, like so. Every list I've run in Wave Five thus far has had like seven, like sixty to seventy-five points of squadrons. And apart from one shuttle, all of those were anti-squadron squadrons. And ne not one game have I gone. Oh gee, I wish I didn't take these because like everyone, everyone is running some form of squadrons, and so now we're at a point like that. That was the problem in wave two, and it kind of carried over into wave three and four. Was that everyone was like, if I just take any squadron squadrons, I'm going to come up against that guy that's running all ships, and then he's just going to be like, well, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of points that was. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it was annoying when you run like uh, all the. The, uh, the six interceptor ball with Power Runner. Right. And then you come up against the Gen Con special, like, well, that's fucked. Yeah, you're like, oh man, let me get my non bomber blue dice out. Oh, look, I didn't do a damage. <laughs> like, I mean, they're still 50%, but man, it's not, it's not good enough to rely on. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, whereas, I, I, yeah, I don't think that's as big a problem. And I think, yeah, so where people talk about, like, squadrons or the BL and end all, I think that, I think that, I'm going to call it, I'm going to be controversial. I think that meta's dead, right? Because that was a huge thing, was like, so, um, uh, spoilers, I don't know if, like, for people that don't know. So I, so I won Nats and, uh, for Australia, and I ran a 12-squadron fleet. It was six A-wings, it was six Y-wings, and then I just had two guppies running flight controllers, and, um, and then, like, three transports. But it was all the squadrons. That was, like, they were the, they were the heavy, like, I was, throwing, like, my only anti-ship dice on my ships was three red, and they were unmodified. <laughs> I might as well just blown at the ships for all the damage that would do. <laughs> right, like, it was all my squadrons. And, like, yeah, and, like, and it worked, and it won. But then, like, if you look at the analytics from those, and from all those sort of around that time, the squadron count was, like, the average squadron count at our nationals was four. 
So pretty much every matchup I went into, I was like, oh, that's cute. You have four? Yeah, he's 12. Yeah. And I come in, and I've got six A-Wings who are speed five. They're flight controllers, all of them, because I had Garm. And it's like four blue dice out of nowhere from distance five. And your four squadrons are dead. Yep. And then after that, it's like black dice all the time. <laughs> And there was only one other person that had Tor Squad, and that was Courtney. And that was Courtney. Yeah, so shout out to Courtney, Tor Bay Wings. Tor yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, and like, that was like, you know, and like that similar sort of thing happened at Worlds was, um, you know, I, I don't know about day two, but day one A, which I, like, because Nick and I went to Worlds, there was three people, there's three lists, only three lists that ran 12 squadrons or more. It was mine, there was the German national champion, shout out, freaking lovely guy, even though I had to play you, and that was terrible, um, and JJ's. And it's like, and JJ ended up winning, so like, yeah. I feel like that's pretty emblematic of, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. of what happened. Um, but, but now, it's now, like, man, you can, now I think Tie Fighters are making a return. I, I, I definitely dig Tie Fighters now. They're just so cheap, and they can actually hold down. Sing a can, I'm getting some water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like yesterday, I, I faced Demo, and he had uh, what, four Decimators, yeah. and it was up against my six Tie Fighters. And yeah, my Tie Fighters got killed. But every time I kill a decimate, like, well, I just paid for three of my tie fights. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and they're so good, because they're like, you forget how good basic, like, because everyone moved away from basic ties. So they're like, why would I take ties? They're so bad. They're, <laughs> they're blue dice, non-bomber. And then you sit there, and if you're sitting at a table, and someone's rolling in with squadrons, and you've got like six tie fighters, man, they're eight points of fun, because they're like three blue with a reroll. And if you take Howl on it, then suddenly they're like, just deadly. Yeah, and you can add in some more fun with flight controls for five blue dice. Right? And you're like, that's like, that's like an, that's like, I mean, if you include all of the investments around it to get them to that point, it's like 20 points, you know what I mean? And <laughs> yeah. then it's eight point per ship after that. You're like, that's some good efficiency right there. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, most of the time now, you only need them to hold, even if you're up against a, a massive squadron ball that you may not kill any squadrons with, like say against a tie defender ball. Right. If you tie them up for at least a turn or two, mm. that's, that's, that becomes enough to get your ships in the position to blow away whatever they have. Right. Yeah. Mm. What, are you, what are your thoughts? I know you, you've been omnipresent squadrons. Nick ran 10 at Worlds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, squads, squads are great. There's, I don't think the Defender is going to be a great anti-squadron. Um, it's got one blue dice with Bomber, but that's still... That's still decent. That's still one, 0 0.75. One, yeah, but it's still one blue dice though, so it's, it's weak. If you can make a defender bomb you all game, it's, it's still a bit... You don't reckon it's worth it? No, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better on the anti-squadron defense than it is bomb. Well, I guess if you've got nothing... If you've got, if you wiped out all the squadrons and you just want to bomb ships, I mean, they, and like, if you've got Max Steel, I mean, like, you don't even need to roll the dice. You just set it to, just set it to a crit. <laughs> Take a crit. <laughs> yeah. Take a crit, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, man. That is like that's like that that right there. That's like a that's like a flotilla's nightmare. Yeah, just take a crit. <laughs> just, just take it, right? Uh, you can't dodge it. You can't dodge it. Can't rely on that accuracy. Like yeah. yeah. Well, what's strange now is okay. So before you, you, I'm used to like say um, YT twenty four hundred mm. uh, four dicing a uh, an A wing, mm. right? And doing maybe two. Well, the average is two. The average is two, but it might do three. But the but when you say the A wing is still alive, they will do counter two. Yeah. Right. And it's annoying because at the end of the day, the A wing may die, but it will take out the twenty four hundred with it, mm -hmm. and it's then eleven versus sixteen. Did that to you a yeah. lot. <laughs> yeah. It was so annoying. But now with the defender, it just seems they just like it'll, it'll tank the counter. Yeah. And then we'll blow away yep. an A wing or what a Tie fighter now. Yeah. Because of the, those two black dice. I mean, like, yeah. what's the average now? Two and two point. We worked it out. It's like two point five. Yeah, two point five. So it's either going to roll two or three. You know, it's not yes. more. Yeah. Right? So it does that. Uh, look, three. Dead three. Tie Fighter. Yeah, Dead Tie Fighter. Well, if, you no, if, you're, if you're not running all four, if you're not doing four blacks, though. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> let's try. Let's try, let's, try let's try again. Ah, three damage. There you go. Yeah. Dead Tie Fighter. Dead right? Tie Fighter, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's either going to do two, like on average, right? Like it's either. On average, mm. it's going to do two or three. So mm. that's brute. No. That's brute. Like if you, if you do like an ISD activating four of them, you go, cool, that's two dead A-Wings. Or oh, that's like three to four dead TIE Fighters. That's crazy. Mm. That's crazy amounts of damage. My dice suck. My dice suck? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's three. Come on, man. Even I can't blame my dice. Alright, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty cancer. Marrick Steel. Marrick Steel? Yeah. Marrick Steel. Three in an accuracy, that'll do it. Every time. Mm. I really like Valmarudor. 
Valen Rudor is just... Oh, he's such a jerk. But he's, he's, so so, he's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember I was sitting there and I was like, why is Valen Rudor 13 points? And then I realised it's because it's like... You know how it's sort of like... You can't target him. No, no. Tie like, him up with it. Not even, not even counter can hit him. I know, it's so bad. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realise the whole counter thing until, yeah, until I actually faced someone with counter. Like, oh yeah, you can't attack me. Well, there you go. I, like, like every, every list I've had, you just go... I can squeeze in Valen Rudolph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he's three black guys, and plus he swarm. Yeah, swarm, and he has a, a semi snipe ability. Yeah, as well, right. Yeah. But then, but then you add in, you add in like power oh, on it, and you yeah. get a blue. Like, so you, you're rolling. You're cool. You go swarm. It's three damage with an accuracy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, Incidentally, then, that's Howrunner's nightmare right there. Yeah. Like, which, uh, which you oh, man. Don't, don't even start me. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's just he's so good. Like what I found is like so cheap as well. He's so cheap. Yeah, because that's the thing. Because I sat there and I was like, he seems too cheap. And what it is is you because is at first I thought he was meant to be an interceptor hero because I didn't pay attention to what he was. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, he's a tie fighter hero. And so that means that he's technically like five more points more expensive than a, like the generic, which is the way they sort of go, right? Mm. Like you know, you look at like Wedge, who's like nineteen to like the X Wing's thirteen, and blah blah blah. Yeah. Or how are and more are like sixteen 15. and fifteen, yeah. right? But then they provide like you know wider effects, yeah. right? Like how yeah. makes all ties better, which is in, like ostensibly worth more than Rudolph. But yeah, I guess it makes sense because like. Uh, so Haron is worth two ties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she makes all ties better, and like Blanc is, yeah. is uh, worth two Z95s. Z95s and he makes all Z95s better. Oh, Z95s are brutal. I don't know how to feel about Z95s. I played, I played one. I played, I played a game. Like three, three red dice. It's terrible. And you have Blout. Cool, you go Blout. Swarm. Wait, does he give you another reroll? Is another so Blout gives you a trigger on top of Swarm. Oh wow! Yeah. So you have oh, Blout and Swarm, oh, and because it's two, because it's two triggers, you can roll the one dice. So you Blout and the Swarm. Oh my god! Oh, exactly. Man, all right. I did not realize that. Oh mm. man, that just. That's yeah. why. That's why I've got fourteen headhunters with Blout and Janos in a list. Um, yeah, but are you gonna buy that? <laughs> no, <laughs> you're just gonna I'm, borrow I'm, that. You're gonna borrow that. <laughs> we'll See to... if it's good, and if it's good, you know, we'll I'm alive. We'll be leading up to regionals and be like, can I have like headhunters and everyone like, if it's a good list, we'll be like, nah. <laughs> 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 you're gonna buy it, motherfucker. No, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna paint my Z95 as all like confetti colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go, man, you can borrow mine. <laughs> Take my neon green. <laughs> man, <laughs> if it's a good swarm. Yeah, man. Uh, just. So I wish I wish Swarm for the ship for the anti ship though. Yeah. But the the ability wow. to that like, just roll up one day and yeah. go go cool six damage to your defender. Well tell tell the story. Well yeah, so so <laughs> I, I played Damo and I was running a fleet and it was like it was like a first player fleet and it was my it was my McThirties one. Mm-hmm. And then but part of it was where I was running four Z ninety fives, um, Shara Bay, who's the other ailing hero, and then Keta on you. And then I got I got stuff to talk about her. But the Z95s were trash. <laughs> like, they were so bad. Like, I rolled in, and I'm like, I even did the thing of where you send in someone else first who doesn't have Swarm, so that your second guy get, automatically gets a Swarm without wasting it. And I rolled in, and it was just like, every roll was just like... Because that's the thing, is their expected damage is 0.5, because they're, they have four damage on eight facings. But the problem is, is that damage is kind of spiked, because it's like one of those facings is a double. Like, yeah. they only have three facings that actually do a damage. And so the problem with that is it means the damage is really swingy. So I had like three or four rolls in a row where even after like swarm, I had like zero damage. And then it was like, it was like zero damage, zero damage, one damage. And then like that happened and then pretty much all my Z95s got wiped. And there was this situation where like uh, I had a Z95 that was on like one hit point or something and he had a YT2400 he'd sent in and it, it had taken one damage. So it was on five. And then I just like go in and I just go, bam. Like, double, double, <laughs> double, double hit. And I'm like, uh, yeah, you're dead. And he's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, that just, that just happened. I just, yeah, I just they, killed your nearly full health of my teeth. Very spike damage. If you yeah. take them by themselves, um, 
you play that game of risk, but you can mitigate that by taking I think you gotta take one black. less and take black. You, gotta take you, black. you really do need yeah. to. Like that that second that second reroll just makes like the world of difference. Because now you can be like, oh, oh three look at that and inaccuracy. Or if you're if it's you're against <laughs> a generic, three right? <laughs> if, you're, if you're against a generic, you're like, ah, screw it. Like I'll risk it because who cares? But, but you get blout then swarm, so you can go cool a uh, blout and then you swarm it. Yeah. So then you yeah, four. four. Yeah. No, exactly. And like that was and that was the thing though. Is it's just, if you kill something with four health, you could have paid for. No, exactly. Like, I mean, because they are. They're the cheapest squadron in the game. So so long as they each kill something, they've paid themselves off and then some. But that was the thing, though. Is like, And you have the same... Thing. You have the same thing with Z95. Uh, with, sorry, not Z95. You have the same thing with ties. It's like, man, when a 7-point Z95 in one activation kills a 16-point YT2400, you're like, I won that war. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I did. And, like, like we were playing... And he had... He, we were playing um, that fighter ambush. And he had four lancers and, like, four three YT twenty four hundreds and yeah, Han. and Han. Yeah. And then so everything was rogue and then really Ketsu Onyo and Shara Bay did all the heavy lifting. But my Z ninety fives were just kind of annoying. And at the end of the day he only had Han and then like one YT left. Like I killed everything else. But the thing was is I had a situation where it was like I killed a lan I killed like two lances. And then I'm like, ah, oh, that's like all of my Z95's paid off. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and you're just like, I don't feel so bad for losing. Yeah, I don't care anymore. <laughs> like, man, kill them. Like, go for it. Like, <laughs> you got to. They've done their job. They've yeah. done their job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They've paid for themselves and they prevented the ship from getting bombed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what more could I ask of those poor <laughs> bastards? <laughs> yeah. Have you played with Ketsu on yet? Yeah. So what's her ability? Um, it's uh, all right, all right. She's her ability is is everybody like press slows down to speed two or something. Like everyone that. within distance one of her is uh, speed reduced. By where two. are you, Ket man? We should have like to a minimum of one or yeah, to a minimum of one. Uh, where are you? Here you are, Ketsu on your man. So yeah, she's hull four, movement four, three blue, uh, anti squadron. Two blue non bomber. Oh, wait, is she bomber? No, she's two, bomber. Yeah, two blue yeah, bomber. bomber. Two blue bomber. Two blue bomber. With grit and rogue. Oh, grit and rogue. She's like fire spray -ish. Yeah, with grit and rogue, and then with brace and a scatter. Mm. And so yeah, so her but her her text is where it's at. Like she's great as a base, but her text is yeah. While an enemy squadron is at distance, so not even engaged, not even like you can be heavy, it doesn't matter. Mm. Is at distance one of you, its speed is reduced by two to a minimum of one. And so what? Like, it's just filth. Like, what I did was, and, like, and I think you could do it even better against, like, th this is, like, the ultimate fuck you to, like, B-Wing, <laughs> Rhymer Balls, X-Wings, X-Wings, anything like that, yeah. right? Speed 3 and under. Speed yeah. 3, like, Speed 3 and under, hate it. Like, even, like, I did it to, like, uh, so he had four Lancers. Even if you can, um, all fighters follow me, throw that into their A-Wings. Yeah. Like, A-Wings are now Speed 3, they can't get to jump on you. Yeah. Right, mm. and like, and she's twenty two points, and it's kind of like all defenders. Yeah, right. Like, all the defenders can't get the jump on for twenty two points, and it's, that's the thing is because she's got that scatter and brace. Even though she's only hold four, like everyone's seen it with Taika before, right? Like brace and scatter can and and hold four. Something about that extra one hole keeps you kicking around for a little bit mm. longer, and so like you can throw her into a ball and sort of be like, I'm tying you up for two turns, and it's just like, or even more if you take Riken. Yeah. Exactly. You take Riken, and she's like, I am Kelly, kill me. I've done my job twice. <laughs> like, and, um, yeah, like, shout out. Yeah, Lawrence was talking about this, and I think this is the real deal. Like, that's just a, I don't give a fuck if you have intel. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah, I guess it's, it stops intel ships from, um, from, like, getting away from you, yeah. Yeah, because that's the thing. It's like, yeah, it, cool. Like, cool if you have, like, you see a lot of fleets where it's like, they just go, oh, I'm just going to ignore all your squadrons and just bomb you with intel, and I'll just ride the damage out, because you won't be able to kill everything. And then this is, like, the counter to that. This goes, I'm not even going to try and kill everything, but you're not going to be killing my ships. <laughs> I was thinking of running her with E-Wings, so she just runs in, holds them down, and then you just snipe them oh, with E-Wings. Man. E-Wings. So you just snipe, I haven't seen that much on the field. Like, have you seen the same squadron? Uh, yes. Or I've I think seen e many people have actually, um, played it, know how to use snipe properly. Yeah. yeah. So what's the consensus there? You can you can use flight control. Yes. Too? Yeah. It's an attack. It yeah. says you can. It says you get an armament of three dice. <sighs> Where is it? Yeah. It's it's an it's an attack with an armament of three dice or something. Okay. Like that. And then you can add flight controllers and power runner and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's like five. Talk talk about it while I find it. <laughs> well, it's nine. Well, yeah. we were using it to what counter counter. Oh yeah. 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 Just so counter counter. So you can't you can't. Use counter 
Yeah. Um, it's distance one to two. So, amazingly, you can actually go, cool, I'm going to snipe the A-wing at distance one. Yeah, there you go. Hang on, snipes. This is off Corrin Horn. You can attack squadrons oh, okay. at distance two with an anti-squadron armament of four blue dice. This attack ignores the counter keyword, but the key part is it's an attack. Okay. And that's what... Oh, has so armament. So has an armament. armament. The key word is armament because flight controllers adds an extra blue dice. So your armament. armament. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. So it does. Flight controllers kicks in. So... Yeah. Yeah, um, so regular, uh, regular fifteen point, E wing speed four, yeah. essentially, essentially um distance what six, yeah. they have a threat range of, yeah distance six, you flight controllers them up they got a snipe value of four now. Yeah. And if you and if you've got a like all fighters follow me, right? Yeah, distance five, so your threat range is seven. Seven, and you're yeah. like that's obscene. Yeah, I just I just haven't yeah. Like, um, well, when you kill the fighters, they got bomber, but they're throwing a red dice. That's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem with E wings. Is it's the same problem. I mean, you it's the same problem with X wings. Is wings. Yeah. that? But then you know what it is though, and the E wings make it worse. Is E wings? You want to go like they're like the they're like the super A wing, right? Like because you I used to do it with A wings is you'd be like speed five, bam, like in your face. I can out jump you. I'm always gonna get the alpha strike in squadrons. E wings are like the ultimate version of that. They, like, nothing has a threat range bigger than them if you tool it right. Mm. But then the problem is, is that once, like, you say you win the squadron war and now you've got, like, you know, 120 to 130 points of E-wings, they only got red bomber dice, which means you really need, like, bomber command, like, up in there <laughs> and supporting them. And that can be really hard. Yeah, I mean, like, what's it see? One. One. Oh, okay. oh Molly, Molly, hot today. Yeah, one, one, so one. Someone normal roll. Come, come, all right, come on, guys. You, 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 you wait, you wait, I'll roll. Oh, all right, apparently we're all E wings all the way, let's go. <laughs> and it was. Eight E wings. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's more statistics. You can, you can fit eight E wings in a, in a proper list, so. I just don't know why, if you would, though. That's, uh, I don't think you would. It's a typical thing with uh, any red dice bomber, like E wings or X wings. You, you, you get the bomber command center in there. And then you find out you never need it because you just keep rolling yeah, off. Just, like, yeah, and then cool. you don't have it, and then like. Well, that was like that was like the other day. I took on I took on a, uh, a demos like he had to hit four E wings, and he didn't have bomber command at all. And then, son of a bitch, like I had my <laughs> my Huckington's in his side arc, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get hurt, but I'll be alright. And he goes a squadron command, and he sends in three E wings, and he goes double, double, crit, <laughs> <laughs> with no bomber command, and I'm like. Seriously? <laughs> like, <laughs> come on! <laughs> like, that's the thing, right? Like, that's like, yeah, redirect. So that's two shield facings gone and... And you take a crit. Yeah. 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 Or, or you take, yeah. Yeah. No, that's what it was. It was, okay. I, 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 yeah. I, I redirected around and then I contained and it was just like, ah, oh, man, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just filth. Like, when, you're, when your opponent rolls hot, it, it's hot. You, you, you can't... You it. You can't... You can't deal. Yeah. Yeah. They, they always say the dice averages out, but it's all about timing. Right? Oh man, you gotta talk about that. Yeah, like, go, okay, like, we've all been there where you roll your three any squadron blue dice against a, against like, say, an A wing or something. So you do, oh no, sorry, against a scatter hero, right? So you do an accuracy and a damage. An accuracy and a damage, right? And then the last the last roll will be, oh, four damage! And they go scatter. Yeah. But like, and a repeated result would have been fine, but <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You don't have to balance out now. now. <laughs> well, that was like, yeah, that was like in, and I think Ken's point is really fair. Like, um, you know, and I love this about Armada, right? Like, when I talk to people about Armada, I say it's kind of like chess with a bit more luck. That's like my generic, like, <laughs> it's not true at all, but it gives the idea across, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, Armada is really strategic, and, you know, when you're designing lists, you, you know, um, there's there's like sort of two schools. You either have like the the ceiling, like 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 you're lifting the ceiling or raising the floor. I'm a floor raiser. Like every all of my upgrades are designed to be like worst case scenario. How can I make this less shit? Like, so like I love like when TRCs came out, I'm like I'm so happy. <laughs> like, um, I made the TR. Right, but then TRC like so rude. But the point like the point with Ken's like when you talk about like like yeah like if it's it can be really hard. If you roll, like, it's okay if you roll shit and your opponent rolls shit, or you roll hot and your opponent also rolls hot, but if one of you is doing either of those things, or worst case, one of you is rolling hot and the other one's rolling shit, there's nothing you can do. Like, it doesn't matter how good you play. No. Like, and that's, I mean, that's just the way it could crumble sometimes, but it can be really hard to deal with that when that's you. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at, um, look at today's battle report, right? Yeah. So, Damo rolls Akbar Guppy, five 
unmodified, unmodified red dice. He yeah. had veteran gunners. But he didn't need it. He didn't need it. He just rolled out, yep, and eight damage and an intel brace. Yeah. yeah. And then ISD rolls back at, at close range. At close range. Like five damage. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that was that was rough, like, because, like, and, you know, that's, like, kind of, like, it's, it's, it is funny when people talk about, like, don't blame, you can't blame your dice, you know, you put yourselves in those situations, rah, rah, rah. And I think that's fair up to a point. I think there's a lot of situations where people blame their dice, and, like, I've done it, mm-hmm. where, like, when I looked back on it in retrospective, I was like, no, 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 I, I was the reason I got here. <laughs> <laughs> but there is some times where it's just like, yeah, you know what, that was just shit dice. <laughs> Nothing you could have done about that. Or, or, or even, like, Okay, you put yourself in a bad situation, but even if you'd had not shit dice, or like, you know, it just, yeah, just not shit dice, it probably would have been a lot better. Like, yeah. Well, like, okay, okay, well, another example. So in that game, uh, you were going after generals oh, on, it was on, it was on three health, right? So you had yeah. three TIE fighters to activate, so the expected damage, just, as long as each one does one, yeah, that's all it needs, right? And what did you do? Two? So the first <laughs> roll, the first roll, and so the thing was it was already uh, it was already engaged with the shuttle. So I had swarm from the outset. The first roll I rolled two accuracies and a crit. And then I re-rolled the crit and I rolled an accuracy. <laughs> so a four dice with a four dice effectively I did zero damage. The next the next two did so the next one did like one damage so it didn't even get like even out there where I got like three so that it could be like alright well you've lost two after brace and then the th- final one did two and he's like cool I brace and I live and it's like really? <laughs> like, and the part the part that made it worse is then he did like counter two and he's gone one damage one damage two damage so he's put out more damage on my TIE fighters <laughs> than I did to it and it was like Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. You just, you just ask for average dice. Right. Yeah. And, that, and that was the funny part. I think that was the real kicker. It's going to be really funny when... It's going to be like... I, like, I basically died a little on the inside. <laughs> it was, but it was sort of like really funny. It was like... We had this moment and so it was like... You know, let's let's pretend this is a guppy, right? And you can, if you watch the battle report, you know the moment and you're probably laughing at me because it was really funny. And I had my ISD. I had my ISD here. He's at speed one with his assault for it. He's in close range, and even after he moves, he's going to be in close range. So I wait. I wait until the end of the activation. I cop my five red dice, which rolls, like, really good. And, like, I take that out. I'm like, it's all right. It's fine. And then he moves in, and he's at distance one. He's at distance... He's, like, he's, like a, he's at close range. I'm like, all right, I've got my ISD's front arc. And I'm first player. And then, like, the thing to keep in mind was, is, like, up here, he had, like, his Mc80 Akbar, like, you know, so, like, to give him... It's sort of, like, up around. It's a little bit further away, but to sort of show it waiting in the wings with a whole bunch load, like a buttload of B-wings. And it was like, okay, I have, you know, essentially a demolisher ISD-1 because I have first last activation and you're going to cop two close range front arcs. <laughs> I statistically should kill you. Yeah. With XI-7s as well. With XI-7s, I should kill you. <clears throat> and then the way it panned out was uh, I rolled five damage before defense tokens on that first attack, which meant that on the second attack... He went to... Those so five damage with Vader and leading shots. With Vader and leading shots. I'm like, I'm going to get this out, because like, I'm a huge fan of it, and even though it failed me today, I'm going I'm to I'm gonna roll this up. So Vader... I see one with Vader and leading shots. I found, on average, does eight damage. Because it's like, you roll it up, and... Oh, man, this is a good example. This is going to be a good example. <laughs> so anything that's not a double... And if you see red doubles, you basically just go, this is going to be great. <laughs> right? If, anything that's not a double, you put to one... Like, you take, and you re-roll. And you just go, now, and then pretty much now in this situation, like say I had rolled some blanks, you know, you, you, well, not on the blue dice, there's not going to be blanks on blue dice, Luke. But if I rolled some blanks, after, the, after you do your Vader roll, your leading shots roll is basically, so like your Vader, your Vader roll, your first roll and your Vader roll are there to fish for doubles. Your leading shots roll is there to mitigate blanks. Mm. So everything that's a, not a blank, you just go, cool, I'm going to keep that. So if I had like this, I'd go, all right, leading shots. And then you go, bam, and at uh, the end of this, I have gone, cool, take 10 damage. And the average I found is it sort of sits between 8 or 9 and an accuracy normally. Mm. And it's like, if you get to the 9 mark, which is, again, this is still like the average, right? If you get to that 9 mark, you're like, cool, you brace, you take 5, and I have XI7s. So, like, in the example against the, like, Demo side arc, he only had, like, two shields on his side. So it was because he'd already taken some damage from my Architons. So now it's like, all right, if I'd rolled just the average, <laughs> it's like, all right, those two shields are gone. You redirect one to the side, and then you take two whole, including a crit. 
which in our above example, with the roll I rolled second, would have killed him. Yeah. <laughs> and then that was the problem, and that was that, and like, and that, and that killed me. That timing of that killed me because then, because I didn't roll, I rolled so bad on that first roll, it meant that I couldn't kill him on his second, and then that pinned because uh, I had to navigate command and I'm at speed three, and that pinned my ISD where it was. And not only that, to add insult to injury, his guppy got to go, and five red dice into the front of my ISD, which stripped my brace, and like, and I was just left where I was, and it was like, I had no tokens, nothing, um, just at like, you know, medium range of, the, of this thing. And then that, uh, like, there was no way I was getting around that. Whereas yeah. like, if I kill it, which is kind of what I was planning, right, <laughs> yeah. is if I killed it, now this blocker is out of the way. And you know, like, full credit to Damon, I'm not saying like, oh, the dice screwed me. Damon put that blocker in there, and he played the dice. He's like, all right, well, if I live, you, you burned. <laughs> and that's what happened. Yeah. But then if I live, it's now like, all right, I'm speed three and uh, I'm gone. Like, I'm, I'm out of here. And now it's like the, only, like the B-wings, they were not going to get there because they were too far away. So now it's like, all right. And he just had a command cruiser. So it's like, all right, all I got to do is take five red dice and I have brace and I have like an obscene amount of hull. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. And it's just like, that didn't happen. <laughs> right? Like, at the end of the day, that didn't happen. But what did happen, and this is the part where, like, the luck, you know, to finish our segue, <laughs> the timing of luck is important. His assault frigate had come, I come noised him to speed zero. So I had double arc with my Arcatons, and then it come down to my four red, and then I rolled, <laughs> and this is great, I rolled double, double, <laughs> and one damage. And it was like, Fuck you. Because <laughs> he had one hole left at this point, and I rolled seven. Naturally, I didn't even vade at this, I rolled seven. And it was like, well, I mean, technically, that's averaging out my luck. Yep. But the timing was awful, right? <laughs> because it's like, seven damage and I only need one. I don't give a shit, it's just overkill. <laughs> seven damage on the ISD one when it was trying to finish this. Like, if I'd rolled double, double, double on my fucking three red, I would have cried for joy. <laughs> like, you're like, yeah, that, that assault frigate's dying. Yeah. Whereas this one, I was like, I know you're dying. Like, statistically, <laughs> it's so unlikely you don't die. Yeah, even if you blanked it all, you could have just rammed it as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there was no way it was living. And it was like, oh, man, just get that into your eh? It was just like, <laughs> fuck you, dice gods. <laughs> uh, dice gods. Mm. They're like, they're, sometimes they're just dice demons. Though. I know you've had some bad ones. Tell us about your uh, your time. I know you have some timing ones. Funny enough, he gets the same opponent, too. Yeah, same guy. <laughs> so, he just brings out in, in everyone. <laughs> Pretty much. So I, I used to be sitting on his contested outpost, and I pulled up a MT30, got the double arc, you know, uh, last... First last, uh, like last first, first act. Yeah, first last. So I've actually managed to position it in that position. Whoa. Timed it with a concentrate, have a nav token to get away, roll a dice... So you I did mean, everything right, like in terms yeah, of strategy play, you strategy did everything play, right. Everything was right, that, that concentrate fire was there. It's all up to the dice now. <laughs> yeah, it's all up to the dice. Yeah. And I ended up And you rolling, got all the experts, right? Yeah, I brought all the yeah, okay. First roll, the front arc, I ended up rolling accuracy blank and a hit. So I just pick up those two black dice and roll them again. APTs, yeah, or, yeah, and then I roll blank and a hit again and it's like, cool. Accuracy, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then what about your side arc? Uh, you and then the side arc rolls up. Accuracy, accuracy, and then and then the, the three black all roll blanks. I pick them up and re-roll them. And then and then all I roll is a damage and two blanks. <laughs> and then I've added a concentrate, and the concentrate's gone blank. <laughs> and then, and then, like, I've all an expert, and then this, they've roll, re-rolled back into blanks. And it's like, cool, well... You take a damage. Nothing, because I I couldn't get out of there. I couldn't like. I was like, well, that's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I dropped my speed and I rammed him. Stay <laughs> stay where I was and stay out of the side arcs. Right. But it, but it was just like. Because you need because now you need to still be in position yeah. to to shoot to, that to again. Shoot it again. Right. And and, then, and then it's like. And then I just got blown out of the yep, water by all, all, the all those upgrades. Yeah, all those upgrades, yeah, right? And you rolled nothing. You're like, well, why did I buy this thing for? Yeah, yeah right. I rolled, I rolled two damage that he just took on the shield. Yeah, and then, and then he took one damage from an, from, from the MC ramp. from a ramp, <laughs> which does more damage to you. Yeah, which does more damage to you because you're at yeah, the twenty five percent. 
And then, yeah. And, and so, you get H9 as well, with your old natural accuracy. <laughs> Two natural accuracy. Yes. <laughs> Take two things, eight points. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's just, just the times when those dice screw you. You're like, cool, I, I planned for that to die. <laughs> yeah. But don't even die, right? Like, even if that rolls well, come accurate, out, come accurate, out of it. Yeah. Hurt. Very, very, very hurt, hurt, right? Because you're rolling, like. I Especially if you get the APTs off and. Yeah. I mean, because. Like, in most cases, in that scenario, the APTs, APTs go off all the time. You yeah. see. Them At least off. once. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, let's let's do some. Let's, you know, let's really rub this in, shall we? <laughs> so, your front arc. You go two, ahead, man. I'll, I will. I'll, I'll two, bring up two, false black guys. Two, oh, man. Like, we can get there. Like, you know, two black. Oh, look. Oh, look. I've done, <laughs> You've done I've, it right there. I've done it right there. Accuracy, your brace. You yeah, take, take three. three and an APT. And then now you go, cool, I'm on top of the world, right? So now you go three black and two blue. And you're just like, good old side Oh, up. look. <laughs> we're already there, man. We're all there. We're all in the nah, man, nah, man. You got your concentrate like fire, fire, right? Because you timed that. And now you're just like, honestly, I probably wouldn't even all next experts those. But then it's just like, oh, man, take six and an APT. Yeah. No, no, you'd, uh, you'd H9 that, right? Right, right. <laughs> no brace for you because you're a liberty. Take, <laughs> take five. And so across those two attacks, yeah, we, yeah. across those two attacks, we did what? Uh, eight on the dice plus two APTs. Yeah. And you did what? Two damage? Yeah, two no. Damage. AP, no APTs. No APTs. And on the same dice. Hmm. Right? Like that variance so, is, is killer. Right? Like the sometimes sometimes you just can't do nothing that. about that. Mm. Oh man, don't don't it'll just make you sad, Nick. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what makes the game so fun. Like, there's those swingy moments, you know. Right. Right. Where yeah. where we're, 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 it's, it's, it's failed for somebody, but you on the receiving like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, like equally, like for every maybe not for every shitty moment, but like I did have like one time I remember was it me and you playing? It was, wasn't it? Possibly. But yeah, it was, it was when the front arc of your... Um, who was it? I was in the front arc of someone's ISD. And, um, no, I think it was Tristan. But I was in the front arc of an ISD. And I had my, li- my Admiral lifeboat at medium range. The worst possible place <laughs> it can be, right? And, um, and we both sort of said, all right, it's dead. For sure, it's dead. And then he picks up... It's an ISD too. And he picks up, you know, the four red and the three... And the four blue... And then, you know, and he rolls it. He's got leading shots. We're at close range. And then, like, so just ignore that one. He just rolls It's like, first one, he's like, uh, no accuracies. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy. It's going to be really good when you kill me, right? So he just goes, all right, I'm going to leading shots everything because then that increases his odds yeah. of, of accuracy. And the second roll comes out, and let's just pretend that wasn't. And I'm like, oh, um, scatter. <laughs> it was just like, how did that happen? Like, yeah. it just shouldn't happen. It's it. It's, I've, I've had that happen, funny enough, to, to Tristan, mm. though, but uh, he, he was the one on the scattering end. And, like, that was with uh, the Akbar MC80. Yeah, with leading shots in defiance, and no, no accuracies there. Uh, it, it's also about your maneuver, because I've done the, the you know, lifeboat Admiral, and it was in front of Dan's ISD2, mm. and then I've moved, and then he's measured it, and like he can measure cardboard to my plastic base for medium range and he's like well fuck you because <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting there he's sitting there he's sitting there, he's sitting there looking at it and he's like that's in medium range and I'm looking at it and I'm going yeah it's medium range and then he you put down the measure the measure tool and you re- and you go no it's plastic the line ends right on the plastic it was just a beast yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's and that's the worst right like um that happened today with you and yeah. Demo yeah and he goes oh, I'm gonna drop speed one and go forward and then it was just just just, just, just out, out. Yeah. Just it out. happened it happened with me with, when I've been flying um the Pelter I put it right in front of that front arc of it an ISD and then they measure it and they go well that's it's out because it's only cardboard to plastic mm. and it feels bad it's one of those times where uh, that we really should talk about the Pelto as much as we meander and it's beautiful <laughs> but we should um, it's a really good paint job on the Pelto <laughs> <laughs> that's what I can say about it. <laughs> but um the the thing that sort of like really often sucks with those sort of like like well, those ones where it's like you can it's like not even a miller it's like a nanometer right it's like you can get it on both plastics and it's like you put you it on balance it, it right but you just can't life. get it on both cardboard at the same time the one that's really hard with that is like and I know that's the game but like the amount of times where you just little nudges here and there right and you just like and it, when it's it's hard, it's so hard because like that's part of the game but there's sometimes you're like I literally just saw you nudge that <laughs> and now I'm not in like 
close range with my front arc of my ISD. And it's like, it can be hard, because you don't want to be that guy that's like... Yeah. It checks the range they, after every it, move. No, right? But you kind of, sometimes you have to. Yeah. And it's like, and I've gotten really into it, I've, I do it, and I, I announce. Like, I don't just, because I've, I've had a lot of opponents where it's like, they check something, and then later on, like, an issue's come up, and they said, no, no, I checked it, and it was close, and I was like, yeah, I didn't get to verify that. And it's like, now it's like, and most times I try to be, like, I try to be, like, a, sta- a fine, upstanding citizen because it's like, oh, I don't want to be a dick here. But it can be hard because you're like, well, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. And this yeah. is the problem. I can only look at what I've got in front of me. Mm. But so I think a key part is to just say, like, if it's important, check it and then be like, if, if you know, check it and just say to your opponent, confirm, essentially. Like, yeah. you, know, you don't say yeah. it like that. You don't be like, confirm again right? you're like hey man is this in close and then like, this is in close right and then I'll just be like yeah and then that way later on if stuff got bumped around you'd be like no no we checked that yeah. that was in close yeah. and they'd be like oh yeah we did yeah, yeah. well I had one situation about years ago or years ago like year, a year ago wave uh, 18 back, months yeah wave 2 nearly years like, ago Ken yeah well anyway no it was wave 1 what, what it was was I said I deployed I deployed two small ships right and they, they had not known, that, like, you know, they were at an, at, an, at an angle, and they were, they were going the same way, and they were just <laughs> flying straight towards the enemy. No clicks at all in any of right? Things got bumped around, right? And then all of a sudden, on one of the next maneuvers, a, sh- a shield dial overlapped another one. They were like, well, that can't happen. They were, they were deployed the same way. In the and same you angle. only moved straight. And I'm only moved straight. Right. So, you know, and, but the guy, no, it's an overlap, take damage. I'm like, oh. I didn't want to dispute that, but yeah. Yeah. Right? And it's stuff like that where it can be hard because it's like, sometimes it's like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, come, come on, man. Clearly you bump the shit when you move your little squad in there. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that can, like, yeah, that can be, like, I mean, what's some it's of your... Painful. Yeah. Like, it's hard because you don't... I mean, I, like, I know, like, you, you're saying it's hard because, like, you know, people that have seen me outside of the battle reports <laughs> <laughs> will know I'm a competitive son of a bitch. But I'm also not a dick, like, yeah. or I try not to be. So it can be really hard, because it's a really fine line to toe sometimes, because sometimes yeah. you're like, I can be a nice guy here, but that really, like, that's a real big advantage I'm giving you mm. for that play. It can be hard. It can be hard. Like, yeah. Yeah, especially for, like, missed opportunities. Right. Things like that. Oh, like, uh, the classic one where they, they've forgotten their most wanted. Yes. Three turns in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I've done that so many times. And Nick just goes, you should know better than that, Luke. <laughs> oh, well, we're both competitive. Yeah, I know. Right? I know. I know. You gotta learn. You jerk. <laughs> but, like, no, I, like, I totally... And it's really funny because, like, oh, yeah, I feel like, you know, I gotta say the Amara community is great for that because I feel like, by and large, I've had nothing but, like, people just be like, nah, man, it's cool. I know you would have done that. Yeah. And then... And so it's funny. Like, it was actually really kind of funny to me because when I was at World, at my final game... I was playing this guy, and he was like, he's, you know, he's a nice guy, it's fine. But I, like, had a situation where, like, my, one of my guppies in my list was in, like, front arc of his ISD, and I've activated, and I've got Garm, so I've got an engineering token sat there. And so, obviously, like, the rule is, is that when you reveal your command dial, that's when, like, the engineering token is to be used, right? Like, you say, I have revealed a navigate command, I'm going to token it or yeah. take it. Also, while I'm doing this, I'm going to engineering token to, like, move some shields. Yeah. And I've gone, all right, uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot. And I've gone, oh, man got to use my engineering token and he's just like no nah, man like you missed that opportunity and it was so funny because I was like I'm so used to not, like this is such a credit to Armada I'm so used to nice people being like oh yeah man dude like yeah for sure yeah. right you're in the front arc of my ISD why wouldn't you shift shield <laughs> then they let me do it and I was kind of like I was taken aback not in a like oh you dick but in a like oh right that's a thing <laughs> like you can yeah. and it's hard it was hard because it was so funny because I was like I guess at that level it will no right it's yeah. like, you're, I, like I didn't feel bad I was just like wow so that's what that feels like. Yeah. <laughs> but the other thing too is like the way the way I normally play, right, is I like to I like to win or like a claim that I win at the best that the, the the opponent did the best that he could mm. bar missing opportunities. Mm. Yeah. So I I don't know, it feels like an empty win if like say, Oh yeah, I won because you know, he, he totally didn't shift those shields in and I got that shot in. Mm. Yeah. I I don't I don't like winning like that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But then like yeah, but then you know it's it's a... Uh, it's kind of like a return ball thing. If if they do it to you, they're like, well, it's game on now. What's that? You, uh, I've got H, or the heavy uh, turbo laser turrets, and you use brace and redirect. That's only one damage, yeah. not half. <laughs> right. I mean, and that's. I mean, I, and funnily enough, in that game, that was the way I played it. Like, we had one where it was like we got to like a squadron phase, and I was like, I was like attacking some of his squadrons with my A wings, and he's. It's funny. I wouldn't even thought of it unless he'd said something. 
But it was like, he was just, he, you know, I like went to attack like Howard on her or something. And then, so I'd attacked a previous round. And so Scatterhood had been exhausted from the previous round. But I was like, like I hadn't attacked her this round, but it was still exhausted. Oh, He'd okay. forgotten to reflip. And he was just like, oh yeah, like I've missed this opportunity. Like, what are you, like, what's you say? I, I, I literally, it was so funny. I had like a fucking like moment of personal crisis <laughs> I was like you didn't let me take my opportunity but now you're asking me to do it but I know it should be green and I was like no it's exhausting <laughs> so it's like, so it's just like you gotta play that return ball you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play it yeah, you gotta play it. And it but it felt so wrong I was like this is so wrong <laughs> like yeah. I haven't shot Howrunner yet it's not red <laughs> like, that's what it is yeah. Yeah. well I had, I had one game uh, it was, I think it was some one of the Canberra uh, store camps. Mm. And I did the classic move where, you know, you move demolisher forward and you forget to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I forget to shoot that front arc because you just want to do that side arc off. And I'm like, oh man, yeah, right. forgot to shoot. You just moved. It's like you, you don't mind if I take my shot now because he hasn't activated yet. Right. Right. I just roll my dice and just whatever goes. Yeah. And he goes, no man, Mr. Like, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. And then uh, on two turns later. He had one ship with uh, one red dice out, and he, and he forgot to shoot. And he goes, oh, I forgot to shoot. And I'm like, that's all right, take a shot. And he took a shot, like, cool, dodge. <laughs> <laughs> you made. I was going to say, I'm like, Ken, you're a better man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's not in dispute anyway. <laughs> all of our yeah. friends would say that. <laughs> uh, we're all good in our own separate ways. All right. Pelter, because we've like danced around it. Pelter. 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 Oh, I, I, such a bad. I, let's get I, the paint job out. Let's see. <laughs> I, I like the Pelter, like, uh, but then I ran it on both extremes. I ran it on. We're not even going to give it a base. No, <laughs> not even. <laughs> nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ran it on both extremes, Gan. Yeah. So I ran it as the assault and as the command, and both extremes where you dish it out of upgrades. Yeah. And you or you just, just put the fleet command. Um, Support really? on it. I'll no, just take on. that, put Ramus until he's on it, and advanced projectors. What are you doing? Oh, no advanced projectors, yeah. projection experts. Yeah, right. Well, what I, what I find is if you load it up with upgrades, it becomes hilariously disappointing. Right. You know, it just doesn't do enough. Right. Um, but I do rate shields to maximum. Mm. It's just passing around shields. Uh, on top of that, if the other ship is engineering or you've got projection experts, it's just it does a lot. Like It recovers... It recovers a lot of shields. I mean, uh, so that MC80 uh, I was talking about before against Nick. Yeah. So, it it pretty much recovered all of the attack on one after ten. Yeah. Wow. Sadly, at three. So like, you know, <laughs> so if there was a net loss there overall. But if it was any any other list, it would have been fine. Mm. Um, so I tried to run it with expanded launches because that yeah. just it, it looks like it makes sense, right? Like two mm. two reds, two black. But then you, you're like, it's weird. Like, yeah, I don't know why yeah. they don't give it weapons team. So you can't do ordnance experts. You can't give it flight controllers. That's why. Yeah. That that's why because they want. The only wagon for flight controllers in the in the rebel arsenal to be guppies, because otherwise it's like, <laughs> I I, th- I think they made a wrong call. You on never that. see guppies. Yeah. I think Look, they made a wrong call. I, on that. I understand why they didn't give flight controllers that the slot to like say an MC eighty yeah. uh, command cruiser because you know they might put gunnery teams instead. But you're not gonna put gunnery teams on this thing, right? You know, like it's it's also the only ship in the game that has an ordnance ex- uh, an ordnance slot. Without a weapons team? Yeah. So you can't get all its experts. Yeah. And I think, you know what? I think that was the wrong call because I think that really, like, it's funny. Like, I like, uh, like it sounds bad because I'm making all these calls on it. And I haven't even flown it. <laughs> but to you be honest... Ki- you killed a fair few of them. <laughs> right. Right. Not only that, like, every time I've come up against it, I've killed it and it wasn't hard. But then it's to, like, it sounds bad, but it's to the point where I think it's that bad that I'm not even, like... I'll give it a go. Yeah. Like, I remember even when the Interdictor came out, I was like, it's not the best thing I've ever seen, but, I, like, maybe it'll surprise me. Yeah. And it didn't. But, <laughs> but, I just... It costs the same as a guppy as well? Like, yeah, the same. like, what is it? What is it? So, you know, it's 56, and then what's the other? 60. 60. So, like, you know, like, it's, my main problem is, and it's my, it's my problem with the Interdictor, but that's lessened now that the Interdictor has access to ECMs through tour, mm. is... It's like, you know, it's like, fi- you... it's what, it's like 50, 56 to 60 points before upgrades. And even if bare minimum you're running like Ramus and the fleet command, right? Or maybe in a Garmus, you just run the fleet command. You're at like 61 and 65 points. 
but really most people are going to tool it up a little bit mm. so you're probably around the naked guppy mark or even more you're probably around like the 75 to 85 can, point mark right you can, better off you can tool this up pretty, pretty, pretty well right but you can right but then the problem is it's like What's it got? Like, I mean, <laughs> you look at it, like, the... It's slow as well, that's the other it's, problem. It's slow, like, it's, it's, you can only go speed sure. two. I mean, sure, you can take engine text, but then it's like, you just tarting up a pig, really. Yeah. <laughs> right? oh. And then, it's dice are not yeah. great, and it's got no way to re-roll them, mm. and it's like, it's sort of like, it's, 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 the problem with that is that that means it's got really one effective roll, oh. and that's as a, oh. like, a support ship, so either the squadrons or, um, Engineering, yeah, because I'm not a huge fan of the nav, like the like entrapment formation, because no one really needs that extra. No, speed. no one needs an extra speed. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you gave speed in your, actually, awesome. unless you have like, <coughs> no, Medine, 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 you're naving. Like, yeah. Anyway, so who needs it, right? So really, it's only going to be the the not the, you can discard the entrapment formation. Well, it give you a way to nav from speed four to speed one to the also trick. <laughs> because you really need to do Is that. Is it really going to be worth it, like a <laughs> 70 point ship to do that, right? Like, so you look at it and you just go, cool, all right, really it's for all fighters follow me and for the the shields to maximum. And right. a lot of people would even say that the shields to maximum is not that great. But I am with you. I think shields to maximum and projection experts is pretty cool. That That's what you'd run. That's what I'd run when I'm command pelter right and then you run three b-wings with it three skirks whatever um mainly three is for three uh b-wings because you have a flight commander and the flatter coordination team so you just go do move your b-wing up move your b-wings up speed one and then pounce it speed three mm. Mm. the other thing i can mm. i guess you can use it for is um it's sort of inspired a bit today so you can use it for rapid launch True. Yeah, you can load up three B wings into it or something. Uh, I, it'd be it'd be cheaper than using an MC eighty. True. Do I don't know. I like I I I have I have yeah. I mean I think you're gonna have to do stuff like that. Because mm. the problem for me is that, and like don't get me wrong, like the problem is it's got to get there. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's speed two. It's not. Yeah. You mm. need you really, you really when you're running this you're running salvation. Well, we saw an MC80 today go up to drop B wings. Yeah, I don't. So, I, so it's possible. I, I, I would say, my, all right. So, like, my problem, the pro- problem, the problem is for me. I think this is good. This could work. This could, because if you have like four B wings, that could be cool. No, three, because you need you need Ramus to get the token for all fighters follow me. Otherwise, you, you're dedicating well, you just, you're well, dedicating you just a twenty it. point. You can just discard. It. I, I think most people it. just. The only thing I've seen people use or fighters follow me for is just so that was first, first launch. Yeah, the first, yeah, first launch, launch, alpha strike, and that's it. Yeah. So I, I would discard it and I'd command like four B wings. Four B wings. That could be good. Four B wings at speed four is not to be like mm. chuckle, chuckle that. But I will still chuckle at it a little bit because my main problem is is that so I've sort of gone like. Many boost comms added to that as well. Yeah, right? Is, so I, 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 there's a, you can do carriers in all different ways and I feel like this one doesn't do any of them great yeah right so well, look, even look, look at this build that's pretty expensive right and that's like what and, and a guppy can perform a little bit better 70 points uh, that's 81 points yeah. so 81 points for that yeah and well, well, you can see guppies have just be just ECM's and boosted boost comms is already better yeah, yeah. I mean and, like, and that's, the, that's the thing to me is like I've done you know there's kind of like there's kind of like two sort of like so when you're building a carrier fleet because they are a thing right is uh, you know no surprises is you kind of go, when you're first sort of like picking your ship and then how you're going to tool it out, there's sort of like, there's like two ways you can immediately go. You can go, am I going to take like a big fat ship, like a Mick 80, which you can, you're inevitably going to deck out, or am I going to take like a Guppy and a, or a VSD-1, right? That you can just throw a slap on like two upgrades so that they're cheap as chips, comparatively speaking, mm. but it's still tough. Like, so like in my, in my, my Nats list and my Worlds list, I ran, I ran two upgrades. Uh, like in at Nats, I ran three, but in Worlds, I ran two or something. I think. No, actually, I still have the architects. So yeah, no, running now. All my ships have one upgrade. Right, and but then and so I ran so I ran two guppies and they had flight controllers, ECMs, booster comms, and then it's like they ended up they were ninety. Oh, and then and then I occasionally threw in skilled first officer, and with those four upgrades on a basic guppy, ninety points. And you go, this is eighty one points, except my guy can go faster can move better, can probably shoot better. <laughs> tank damage better. Can, can tank damage better, yeah. right? You just go, yeah, cool, you can make yours faster. I'll just 
take faster sh- squadrons. <laughs> And I don't know, that's the trade off. And then, but like, and the other problem is, like, that's that's the main problem with this is it's slow, so it can't really do the whole like guppy run away, but it's not high hull, so it can't do the whole mc eighty of I don't care if you, you're gonna catch me because I'm speed two, I'll just tank it. And it can't even do like the you know before VSDs had access to tour, they were still great carriers because if you had like so I used to run a fleet that was two VSD ones and demolisher and then like a, a shitload of squadrons. And the thing was, is people were like, this is back in like the wave two meta. So when people were like, just kill the carriers, it'll be like, and then all their squadrons will die. The problem with that, that people found is, if you charge two VSD ones, you're taking 12 dice. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> like, yeah. like they, throw, they throw out enough firepower that it makes people think twice about charging them. Whereas this, you go, that's four dice. Four dice, they can't re-roll. That they can't re-roll. You're like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, I'll charge that. Yeah. Uh, but that makes something you're like it's uh, a hole <coughs> yeah right well the other thing too is uh, so the other thing you can use it as a, as a flak boat for flesh net torpedoes but you can't but you can't re-roll you can't re-roll black black dice. Dice. so it's the only it's the only rebel ship in the game that has a black dice and um, armament uh, anti-squadron armament but that also has a ordnance slot to get flesh net torpedoes yeah. yeah yeah so then come on that, that card was made for the raider though yeah. it was made it was that, uh, you have thoughts on this? What, what were you? Because you played with oh, it. Oh yeah, so I, I t- all right, so I tested it out. I had a radar. Get out of here, uh, Kelter. With uh, <laughs> Agent Callus, uh, quad turbo laser turrets. It just decked out like the ultimate flat boat. Yeah, so flesh uh, torpedoes, all that kind of stuff on it. What did you a- a- instigator as well. So yeah. it was just a straight up just killer. Yeah. Just so rolling two two black dice, and then you get your crit. Oh, I don't know who's the Ah, I'm not getting it here. It's probably mine. Oh, Man, I'm rolling filth today. Look at that. Man, this is like your other night. <laughs> there you go. Well, anyway, it's okay. And then you, go, yeah, you get to the situation, all right, cool. So I'm, I'm, I can pick between either doing two damage to them, right, or sacrificing a damage and doing only one and then toggling them over. Right. Right? So most of the time you pick the toggle so, like, you, know, so you can keep shooting. But then the problem is you have the raider that's there. So let's say, let's say this is a raider. So the raider's there. If, if it's pounding its squadrons, generally there's a ship nearby. Right. That's going to... That's, that's going to do some hurt on it later. So, chances are you can't stay there for long, so you've got to zip out. Mm. Right? And then you zip down, and then the squadrons are free again. Right. Yeah. So, you never really. I don't know. I, See, I, I, it's, you need two of the damn things. Yeah. But then you're taking two raiders <coughs> whose sole job is to tie them down, not kill them. Mm. Uh, but that's also the same thing as taking like, interceptor squadrons. True. It's true. It's true. I think it's it takes two turns. I think it's where it shines. Possibly. Is if you do, got on a raider one. And you roll the two damage, and one of them is a crit, and you're doing it against a hero with mm. brace. So you're like, well, you're gonna brace it anyway. So you just take one damage and toggle. Right. So like a like a right call. Uh, and the, and the yeah. thing is, it, it toggles them, but it has no. What happens if they've already activated? Yes, yeah, so it's not like a Dutch Vander or something. Yeah. Right. It doesn't give you an extra damage or anything. Which would be great. Yeah. I mean, I suppose the thing would be you just don't toggle yeah. if they're already activated. You just yeah. Yeah. It is. It is three points though. So yeah. So. <sighs> You are, you, are, you, are, you are getting for what you pay for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I suppose, like, three points and... But really, like, but it's not... That's the thing, right? When people talk about upgrades and they're like, oh, it's only three points, it's never just three points. No. Right? Like, an, an upgrade never exists in isolation. Like, and especially for the flesh jet torpedoes, which at the moment, like, presumably they'll release new stuff that can use it, presumably for Rebels, mm. is, you know, you, you have to look at what you got to buy around it. So for like with the Raider, if I'm taking a Raider, you're like, all right, I'll take a Raider one, and yeah, all right. Well, I want all of these experts, and then I want one of the titles because I'm already making it a friggin' squadron <laughs> killer, so I might as well take Instigator or Impetuous. Um, and you're like, well, there's a lot of heroes thrown around, so I might as well take Callus, right? And so now you're sitting there, and you're like, what's a basic Raider? It's like forty eight, forty four, forty four, forty eight, four hundred, for the the title. 55 for Callus, 58. You're already at 60 points. Yeah. Nearly. You're like... Hey, it's nearly a pelter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and at that point, you're just like... Or I could take almost, you know... 60 points worth of squadrons, squadrons. right? You're like, I could just take eight TIE Fighters. Yeah. <laughs> that'll do a better job. Well, but back on the pelter, what? So it's any squadron is a, is a black and a blue. Yeah. Right? With so no reroll. With no reroll. So let's say you do roll that, that critical on the black... Well, what are the chances of you doing damage on the blue? This is half, half right? So chances half. are you're going to get nothing. 
Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, I'll just toggle you. Well, to, to, to put that in perspective, to roll, because you have no way of modifying the dice. But still, if you, if you can get that off and it holds them in position, it gives you your fighters with snipe better yeah. because it takes them longer to get into that fight. True. With your yeah, but you have to roll that first. There's yeah. only 25% that, chance of getting that's it. That's the problem. Well, yeah, well, I mean, with the Pelter, it's, I mean, the result of you getting the, the hit and then that is, like, what, 0. 0.25 times by 0. 0.5? <laughs> What's that? It's, like, a 0. 0.13. It's, like, See? a 13% chance of that happening. Something Nothing. like that. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad, people. That's the odd. Their odds are bad. <laughs> yeah, look. Three times I haven't even rolled a crit yet. Right. Well, statistically, it'll take you four attempts to roll a crit. There you go. There you go. But now you got to roll a crit and a damage. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so now you, you use your torpedoes and do no damage. Yeah, it's just, like, we could sit here trying to do this for a while. Like, it's, it should honestly take us a while. And it's like, man, I honestly don't know if this is going to change the dice, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not, it's not happening. There you go. No, it's not. That's still it's an accuracy. You want to damage. Yeah, you yeah, but you do that. There you go. Finally. Problem. Finally rolled it. After what? We just did, like, 12, 15 <laughs> rolls. I mean, that pays off if it's, like, a 13% yeah. chance. So you're just not going to do it. Yeah. There's no, there's no way of trying. There's no way of increasing your odds. Yeah. For it, yeah. Like you can, I guess like the, like I said before, the, the only time you you want to target it is against like a, a brace hero. Yeah. Yeah. And that's when you might use your concentrate fire command if you have it out, or mm. or, or, or like a token. Someone that's gonna air heavy hit it like Vader or mm. like but then like steel. Mag steel. Yeah. yeah. Or even toggling John. Jen. Jen. Yeah. Jen and and I'm sure everyone's been there. There's a, there's a, there's a typical Imperial fleet list out there where it's just like all Imperial aces. <laughs> <laughs> there's Good always everyone meta. Everyone has that one meta. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. If you get flush of torpedoes with Agent Callus and you go up against that fleet, <laughs> we should do that again. Because you just, you just <laughs> roll in and you go Agent Callus. I'll add in a black dice because. <laughs> Like ordnance expert. expert. No, I don't expert all of it. I don't ordnance experts all of it. All if I've got flechette torpedoes, I'm re I'm rerolling. Wow, this is cancer. <laughs> all right, dice. let's try it again. Oh. Three dice, agent callus. <laughs> there you go. Ordnance experts. Oh man, flechette torpedoes. <laughs> two, two damage. Two damage. Yeah. Man, that's where it's no, at. He's got a space <laughs> brace and you can't activate. Yeah. And those those aces hitting you was just like a truck. Mm. Oh. Most of the time. Oh. What do you reckon are going to be the, f the fleets that shake out early from this meta? I think, uh, I think Architens is going to be the, uh, the main... The main, the main stay? The main stay. Yeah. Um, although, they're saying that, like, uh, I'm hearing uh, uh, people in other places are doing, uh, uh, like, bomber-heavy pelter lists, like your virus <laughs> transports. Um, they probably have a way of getting, you know, getting them into range without us knowing. I don't know. They're but just, they're just better than us. <laughs> yeah, they're just better than us. Yeah, but the, the main the main thing I think it's gonna be the meta is gonna be like an ISD, two Architens, one transports or another one. So maybe four to five activations, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, just Vader. I think Vader's gonna come back. Vader's back. Vader's back. Vader's, Vader's, Vader's back. Yeah. I've seen some stuff, some rumblings, like and you know people can jump in, but um, Tarkin might have a home with uh, like relay, like Gazan, like like a bunch of Gazantes and like relay. Mm -hmm. Because then he's just like, they're only doing two anyway, and mm. then it's just I don't know. I think. Oh, well, actually, no. Yeah, shout out to shout out to one of the, the podcast member, uh, Tristan. So what he does, so he he plays Tarkin with um, a whole bunch of Gazantes and a BSD, right. and he's got two shuttles. Right. So, so he's, he's got the double relay. He's got the double relay. So you can relay four squadrons mm. off the VSD if you wanted to. Right. And he, what he does is typical with Tristan, you know, who just park the VSD at speed zero at, at, on his board space. And then, yep, squadron command, squadron command, squadron command. Mm. Yeah, and it'll, it'll be like a crazy ball of like tight defenders. So his, 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 his hope there is to destroy and wipe out whatever any squadron you have, right? And most of the time, you can, with, with the, what, 134 points now these days? Yeah. That's enough to, for a 7-4. Yeah. All right? So... Maric Steel, 10-3. Yeah, there you go. Right. And then afterwards, just, just bomb the ships. And if they if the ships have to come close to him, he'll, you know, rely on his objectives, like Planetary Eye or Cannon or whatever it is. Mm. Yeah. And plus, you can use the strategic ships to move away move those, tokens. Move those tokens away. Mm. Um, man, we haven't even, like, we barely even touched strategic. Man... I cannot <laughs> pray strategic enough. <laughs> so good. So good. Like, if you're taking, like, to all those people, and I'm sure there's plenty of you out there, right, that are taking, like, Intel Suite, Fire Lanes, you know, like, Salvage Run, right, they're trying out the new objectives, and you're not running a strategic, 
You're playing a deadly game. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game. Yeah. Yeah, because you can move them technically distance three. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the original position. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, what's the... I mean, I need my one widget. Where's your, have you got one? Have you got one that's just a little one no, stick? No, no, can no, no, you yours here? Oh, it's cute. Come on, man, because we've got to visualize this. I don't want people having to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, because the way strategic works is that it's like when you land... Um, and, you know, lots of people probably already read it. And it's not. within. It's within, right? It's, when you, it, it, it's essentially... We need a token. Effectively, what you do is like because of the way it works, is you when you land, it's you only have to be within one, and then you move it to within one. And um, oh, mine's gone missing. Yeah, yours has gone missing. All right, we'll just do it. But so pretty much, what ends up happening is like you can just pull the tokens like crazy amount. So like say you know I've like activated it, come in. I just go, you know, you get right to the edge because within is means you only just need like the barest margin of your base on either side. And you just go, cool, and now I'm going to place this, you know, somewhere like here. And when that token has a distance of one to three, like iron cannon, yeah. you just essentially just drag it. I mean, it's not like three, but it's within three. Mm. Like, you've just changed that position to, like, you know, that was like over here. So that's like about almost like a distance of three that I've just changed that. Like, I've rolled up and I've just gone, you know, like, it's like here, and I go, cool, and now it's like, so let's go like that. And you just go, I can get even further than it. It's like there, and you just, if you look at those two points, it's almost distance three. Yeah. And that's insane, right? Yeah. yeah. That, that makes minefields and, and, viable. Yeah. Uh, minefields. Uh, it makes minefields, uh, even iron, iron cannon. Uh, you can just drag the token on if they yeah. don't play them. You just... Well, like everyone's first fire lanes games with strategic, they're just like, oh, I'm just going to push under your ship. Yeah, yeah. you push yeah. under the ship. The thing to remember, though, is that if you push a ship in front of it and they drag it back under you, no one claims it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? If you read the ruling, for, um, it says if both people overlap the token, no one gets it. How can you both shield die or something? Oh, right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Man, that would be such a niche case. Yeah. <laughs> like, or like two corners on it. I don't know. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Or, right. or two squadrons can they can. can if anyone it. does that in an actual game, please take a photo of it. <laughs> like, but but that's the point. Like all them objective token ones, like might so like suddenly. If you're not taking strategic and you're taking those objectives, you you like you just like, ah oh man, let's just like cook with like jet fuel because <laughs> that's like yeah it'll cook well but man, it'll burn down sometimes. Oh yeah, like well speaking of that, because of the way objectives are working now and strategic and all that, we'll be noticing that the games, the point, the overall results are now way way less. I mean way tight. Yeah, so. Way tight. A lot of times the games are going to be are becoming six five seven fours. I think seven four is the new like I won. Yeah. But if you look at that tournament wise, that's not that was not the margin before. No. You needed eights. You needed eights or nines. Really, you needed nines. The average like and I've yeah, talked about it. Yeah, you need an eight and a half, which mm -hmm. means you need to be bouncing between eight and nine. And if you got a seven, like I remember, <laughs> I remember Nats, my first game, I scored a seven, and I was like. Man, I've really put the pressure on myself. And that's ridiculous. <laughs> I've won. And I've won, like, pretty good. But I was like, gee, I'm really going to have to work to make this up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it just seems to me, like, strange that, like, um, most games will come up, will have a 7-4 outcome. Mm. But then you go to the tournament, that, that, that person or the persons who, you know, get 10s or 9s, like, they're going to have that massive advantage. Yeah. Mm. And I think it's great. Like, I mean... Whether or not this is the problem, because we've only we haven't had a big tournament yet with Wave Five. Our first one is in about ten days. We've got one coming up on the eighth of Jan, and it's at Newcastle, which for us is like two hours away. And that means there's going to be people that aren't our local group there, and that'll be our first like. That's why we travel a lot uh, for our group, because then absorb the meters. Absorb the meters, <laughs> so we become stronger. We're like we're like fucking Zell from Dragon Ball Z, yeah. like. Or like the Zergs. Yeah, right. Like, like, yeah, absorb yeah. their essence. Well, the other thing too is because of flotillas. So everyone's doing that admiral boat thing that just floats off into the distance. You can never kill it. So I'm a big never, fan. Yeah. So you, you you'll never get that. Um, Do you want water? The, 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 the full four hundred. The full four hundred. Uh, yes. You a cup? You mean? You, you never get the full four hundred. Yeah. yeah. And I had, a, I had an oxygen again. It was against Dan. He did the tour ECM flotilla. And it was his last ship on the board. It was his last ship on the board. He had a whole board of squadrons that, that I couldn't deal with. They all my squadrons that died. Yeah. And so all I needed was, kill that, uh, was to kill that uh, flotilla. And I couldn't do it because of the ECMs. Mm. Right? 
And he scored and just went ham on all my shit. Did you say? Man, it's hard. And then <laughs> the, it was a massive point swing. Yeah. So the, I killed all his ships, except for that one Gazanti, and all his squadrons survived. And he killed two of my ships, but that was enough to swing the points over. Right. And exactly. And I think, um, yeah, like, I mean, that's been a thing for a while now with the, like, the Admiral lifeboat. <coughs> and um, I'm in two minds about it because I'm, like, again, I'm going to just keep saying this. I'm a competitive player. So I was like, as soon as, like, Nick did that to me one time, I was like, you, you jerk. You jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start doing that. <laughs> right? it's, a, it's, a valid, it's a valid strategy. Yeah. Um, the times where I don't put it on uh, a flotilla and I put it on an ISD or an MC-80 instead is generally when I want that flotilla to do something. Okay. And it's, it's always going to be in harm's way, like the, like the Bright Hope that's right. doing flight commando and extended yeah. hangar bays. Or suppressor, for instance, right. yeah. And you could fit in your, yeah, another... but gazante. now with Relay, you can just go, oh, cool. Here's, yeah. Here's a transport. Here's a Gazanti. My Admiral's on that. It's going over here, and then I'm going to be useful the entire game. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like for me, even before Relay, um, and it'll still be for Rebels, because they Relay's crap, uh, <laughs> even before Relay, I was like, you flying away is enough utility, <laughs> because <laughs> my Admiral not dying is enough utility for me. Yeah. Because, like, the amount of... Like, I remember Wave 1 and 2, the amount of times where a game just swings on its head because you killed your opponent's Admiral or your Admiral died. It's so huge. Because not only have you... They, like, you've just killed, like... Like, I mean, this is back in the day where everyone had it on their flagship. You flagship. Like Akbar. Right. But you kill, like, Akbar on, a, like, a Guppy or a Mick 80 or you kill Moddy on his ISD and it's just, like... Not only is that a huge points loss just in and of itself, but then it's, like, this domino effect of, like, oh, now all your stuff's crap. Yeah. Like I remember, like wave two, I had one game <laughs> where I was playing this guy, and he had a, and he had an Akbar fleet, and Akbar was on the Mic eighty, and it was meant to be like, you know, it had advanced projectors, and had ECMs, right? Quite like you, your style of yeah. ship, right? And he had two guppies, and they had like intel officer, and they were decked out, and then it was like, um, I just got in his face with demolisher and an ISD, and I killed, I like, I burned that Mic eighty down, and as soon as I did that, it was like, oh man, your guppies are only throwing three red. I ain't scared now. <laughs> right? Or, like, I had another game where I versed someone else, and then all I had... I had a, I had a Moddy, I had Moddy on my ISD. This was back when I was a madman and put Moddy on ISDs. And that, that ship was worth 187 points. It was Christmas tree ISD. Had Moddy on it. It was worth everything. And I was playing this guy, and I had two Raiders. I had two Raiders left. One of them was on four damage, so if Moddy died, it died. <laughs> right? And then my ISD had and it was Avenger crucially had a front arc and side arc of his Mick 80 which had like we'd been beating each other up and his Mick 80's got Akbar on it and then the key part though is that he was first player for what I can't remember why but then like I had like you know one Raider that was on four hit points so if Moddy died it died that was way off away but then I also had a damaged Raider at lot like at like medium range of the Akbar thing and it was um he was just like he was sort of like really happy with himself because like my ISC was beat up to shit and it had one hit point left and he's just like oh man like yeah you're gonna die and I was like cause like, I hadn't killed him with my front arc and I was like why and he's like oh you're gonna ram me and then you die and then, then that means that that raider dies and then I'm at medium range of your last raider and I'm first player so I'm just gonna blow it away and I'm like tits <laughs> right and then we checked and we checked and I was like, wait, like, what about my side arc? And I got really hyped up, right? And then we check, and I'm just, like, I just had, like, arc on it. Like, I could just draw a line of sight to his arc. And then I was, like, me, like, I was in medium range. And I'm like, four dice, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and that was enough to kill the Mick 80. And then, so, like, I ended up winning that game 10-1. Oh. 10-1, because I blew up his two guppies, his Mick 80, and all I lost was Demolisher, right? But you look at that, that's, like, one roll. If, you know, the Mick 80 doesn't die... My ISD dies, my other Raider dies, and then now the first activation is his Mick 80 blowing away my last Raider. So he would have got like 400 points. Yeah, it would have been 10 on his way. Yeah, it would have been like yeah. 10 on his way. And then that just didn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah so that's, yeah, that's, that's why I think in this new wave, like, the, the points would be more even. even yeah. Out. It wouldn't be a big, not much as a big of a swing. <coughs> if it swings, it swings from like. Your points are now in squadrons, not in. Not in the ships. diffused. Yeah. Mm. Right? You kill, you kill a ship, it's a huge point swing normally because it's normally like at least 50 to 60 points. Mm. But you kill a squadron, you're like, it's 15 points. And that's like, I mean, that's still like an objective token, but it's not like that sudden big jump, mm. right? Like, Unless you do the multiple, multiple kill. 
multiple yes. Sport of kills. Yes. But that's hot. That can be really hot. Mm. But then, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, I think you found that. Like, I've had a couple games against Nick where I was running big squadron fleets, and he just said, ah, screw your shit. They're not worth crap. And he just, like... Just flacked the squadron. Just flacked the squadron, yeah. sent everything at my squadrons, and was just like, I'm winning this. I'm killing you, squadrons. <laughs> well, it gets, your, uh, it gets your worlds and nationals list. So, you know, practice games. What was it? I was like, well, uh, there's no way I can touch those guppies or transports, so I'm just going to flack, keep flacking these aliens. <laughs> Keep flacking them out, just yeah, wearing them down, demolish them, yep, drive up and flack out the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was, it was enough. It was enough. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. Think should we call it? No, no. we still got a little more. No, little, yeah. uh, objectives. we got to talk about them, objectives. Uh, you can say for another one. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm on that wave five. Are you, you're, you're done? You reckon? Yeah, because we can do it again for the... <laughs> it's been like two hours. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll save it. We'll save it. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll save it. probably be like before regionals, after regionals. We'll, yeah, because we'll yeah, then we'll come back and be like, the objectives are all shit. Yeah. Like, I was about to sit here and be like, they're so good. And I'll come back and be like, they One suck. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out we were all wrong. Oh, Our are shit. shit. Pelters are awesome. awesome. <laughs> I'll come up against, I'll come up against Shannon Rios' fucking, like, your virus pelter thing. And he'll just be like, fucking speed five B-wings. And I'll be like, <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I was like, why did I take nice things? <laughs> should, should have taken that Agent Callus radar <laughs> and flesh <fleshed> torpedoes. <laughs> Fuck. Um, uh, all right, guys. So, veteran captain uh, Ira Kennix signing up. Intel Officer Luke. And uh, I can't even remember. <laughs> you <laughs> grand off, man. You grand off. I can't Nick. believe you can't remember that. You took the most wanky name of us all. Thanks, guys. Signing up. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Oh. oh. Put that one in. <laughs>